The Gulf of California is home to a dazzling array of creatures that live in a world of extreme conditions. Voluminous jellies and mysterious squid drift through dark waters with little oxygen. Ghostly crabs pick at giant tube worms bathed in the scalding sulfuric water of hydrothermal vents. How do these animals make their living, and what factors shape their unusual physical environments? These are just some of the questions that Ambari scientists hope to answer during a three-month-long expedition to the Gulf. The Gulf of California stretches 700 miles between the Baja California Peninsula and mainland Mexico. Ambari researchers visited this remote location in 2003 and studied topics like marine biology, chemistry, and geology. Ambari scientists are returning to the Gulf from February to May of 2012. They will measure ocean currents, study acidic ocean conditions, document deep sea life, explore underwater volcanoes, and more. Scientists will use the research vessel Zephyr to launch an autonomous underwater vehicle, or AUV. This robot flies through the water and uses sound to create detailed maps of the seafloor. Scientists aboard the Western Flyer will use these maps to guide a remotely operated vehicle, or ROV. Called the Dock Ricketts, this ROV provides unique access to the Gulf's unexplored deep regions. Dock Ricketts is the versatile robotic workhorse of the expedition. It can collect lava from underwater volcanoes or capture gases bubbling up through the seafloor. It also lets researchers observe and collect animals, like the unusual creatures that live in the Gulf's oxygen minimum zone. This layer of oxygen-poor water, where many animals have trouble breathing, is unusually large and shallow in the Gulf of California. Ambari scientists think the oxygen minimum zone forms a barrier that crowds many animals near the surface, like these delicate invertebrates called larvations. But some, like the Humboldt squid, have adapted to move through these oxygen-poor waters. Other extreme environments exist at the bottom of the gulf, where water and minerals flow out of cracks in the sea floor. Sometimes the minerals billow from chimneys in smoky underwater clouds. Other times, the only signs of these fluid seeps are the massive bacteria that spring up around them. Some vent inhabitants, like these giant tube worms, can withstand extremely hot temperatures. They use bacteria to harness energy from toxic sulfides spewing out of the vent, which would kill other organisms. The Gulf of California's marine residents can cope with many environmental challenges that may one day become common worldwide. The ocean continues to absorb the carbon dioxide that humans release into the atmosphere. This carbon dioxide changes the ocean's chemistry and alters the delicate balance of marine life. Ambari's researchers are studying the Gulf to better understand how creatures elsewhere may respond to a warmer, more acidic, and low oxygen ocean. You can learn more about Ambari's return to the Gulf of California and other research endeavors by visiting www.ambari.org. This is Aaron Lowry for the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute.